me now, Democratic Congressman Gerald Nadler of New York. Welcome, sir. Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Has the president reached out to you? No, not, not personally, although uh, I've been in a series of meetings with Ben Rode, the uh, national security advisor, over the last few months. What do you think of this deal? I, I think it's too early to know. There are some really serious questions about the deal, especially in the areas of... Uh, of, of inspections, what are the consequences if, if the inspector suspects something? Do we need a conference of the P5 plus 1 to decide whether to send an inspector somewhere else? What, what happens then? And second of all, what happens in 10 or 15 years? Uh, is an American president at that time precluded from taking further actions? Um, this deal is not complete. It's not going to be completed till June, and I think it's it's frankly premature to make a judgment one way or the other until we see a lot of those details. So you're a liberal Democrat, is that fair? Yes, right? very so, liberal Democrat. So if the president can't count on you, what does this mean Well, what does he may or may not count real? on me. Well, I'm saying it's too early at this point to say because we don't know enough. But I also have said consistently that simply saying that this deal is not as good as it could be or as you like it to be is the wrong analysis, it's the wrong question. The right question is, of the three alternatives available to us to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear bomb, which gives us the best odds of doing that? You have a deal, and when we know more about the deal at the end of, of, of June, we'll have a better idea of, of what the odds are that this would really prevent them from getting a nuclear bomb. You have the possibility of sanctions, but with, with sanctions, you're making a bet. You're making the bet that sanctions will bring about the economic collapse of the regime before they get a bomb. What are the odds on that? And the third alternative is, 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 is war. Um, and, and that, our military tells us, would hold it for a few years. So it's really until we see the details on this and analyze the other two alternatives, it's too early to reach a definitive judgment. On the Senate side, Bob Corker is pushing a bill to give Congress a mandatory review of the Iran nuclear agreement. Is that necessary? Well, it would be, it would be nice. Whether, uh, and and wh by the way, why the Senate, not the House also? Uh, as a House member, I have to stick <laughs> up for the House. But um, it's not generally the practice in the United States for Congress to vote in every executive agreement. Uh, there may be features of this that uh, I see the latest version of Senator Corker's bill apparently is to delay the, the, the uh, taking off of the sanctions for 60 days to give Congress a chance to weigh that. That sounds reasonable.